Good morning, Pod Squad. Today is Monday, September 28th. Are you guys ready to have an amazing day? Like today's a new day. God is good. God is so amazing. God is faithful. God keeps his promises. God bless you with a new day. God um, performs his miracles. Your miracles, believe it or not, is the fact that you're listening to this. You woke up this morning, you know, he allowed you to open your eyes, have breath in your body, be in your right mind, use your limbs, you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food on your table. And I just want to encourage you all to make sure we thank God for those things. You know, we usually pray to God and we're always me, 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 mine, mine, mine. I want, I want, I want. But what about the things that he's already done? Never go through your day with a sense of entitlement, you know, feeling like, oh, tomorrow is promised. I'll get this done tomorrow. I'll do this tomorrow. Like we're not entitled to live another day. We're not entitled to see another day. Um, But as long as we have that mindset, you know, waking up and just thanking God for breath in your body alone, that goes to say that he's not finished with you. Your purpose has not been uh, fulfilled yet. He's still working with you. He still has more work for you to do. There's more work in the kingdom that needs to be done. And basically, this is just a message of encouragement. I want to encourage you to be encouraged. Encourage yourself. Because the enemy is busy. The enemy is in your head. He's manipulating your mind. He's telling you everything, nothing but lies. He is the father of lies. And I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. Stop believing that you're not worthy. Stop believing that you can't have what God promised you. Stop believing that your greatest days and your better days are behind you. Stop believing that you have to be stagnant. Stop believing that life is just what it seems to be. Stop believing those lies. You are the heir of a kingdom. You are God's heirs to his thrones. You are his true sons and his daughters. Just wake up with that mindset. There are times I've shared with you guys time after time. There are times I've woken up and I've had a heavy spirit. I've been in a funk. I just felt blah. I was numb. Just in my feelings for whatever reason. You know, the enemy, that's where he wants you to stay. That's where he can manipulate you. And as long as he can keep you from keeping your eyes off of God or not praying to God or currently not feeling God, you know, for whatever it is that you're going through. I just want to encourage you to encourage yourself if that's you. When you wake up in the morning, thank God for the breath in your body. Thank God that he kept his head of protection around you. Thank God that he covered you. Thank God that he allowed you to see another day. And God is not a man that he shall lie. Whatever he spoke over your life, whatever he promised you, it has to come to pass. I am here to tell you there will be times that It seems like your back is up against the wall. It seems like all odds, not some odds, but all odds are against you. I've been there. I've done that. I've lived through that. And I'm here to tell you it will get better. It does not happen overnight, but God just wants us to trust him. Trust what he tells you. Trust what he's taking you through. Trust what he's allowing you to go through. Trust him. There is purpose in every day of your life. Nothing is wasted with God. There are no junkyards. So God doesn't have any junkyards. So whatever he allows you to experience, it's an experience for a reason. Whether it's testing you, whether it's strengthening you, whether it's stretching you or molding you or melting you or crushing you, whatever it is, I'm here to tell you, it does not always have to feel good. But I just want you guys to trust God with the things that he does, the things that he allows, even the things you don't understand. There are so many times I thought God was going to show up. I had every indication, like everything in my spirit told me he was going to show up this day, you know, whenever that may have been. And that has happened numerous times. And it was times that every time I thought he was going to show up, he didn't show up. But yet I still served him. I still glorified him. I still magnified his name. I still showed up. I still gave him praise because he is God. Whether he shows up or not on our behalf, he is still God and he deserves just that. And I just want to encourage you. That too is a test. That too is a season. When I don't show up when you wanted me to or when you expected me to or you thought I would, the way I, the way you thought I would, will you still serve me? Will you still honor me? Will you still give me the praise and glory? Will you still be obedient? Will you still trust me? And it's hard. I know it's hard. But at the same time, when you lean on God, he will supply everything you need. That's what keeps me going is waking up with that mindset. And that's a form of discipline. You don't just wake up and automatically feel that way. You have to train yourself for it. I've learned this is one of the things I was sharing with my husband, some of the things I share with my business partners. You have to discipline yourself to have that mindset. Today is going to be a positive day. 
Today I'm going to be happy. Today is going to be an amazing day. Today I'm going to fulfill my assignment. Today I'm going to block every distraction and manifest what God has placed in front of me. I tell myself those affirmations daily. I am a daughter of a king. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You have to pep talk yourself with these things. And I say this because there are times you won't feel like that in the morning. There are times you won't feel like that during the day. But if you can arrest and rebuke those thoughts soon as they happen and just remind yourself, I'm better than this. I'm worthy. I'm, I, I have a grateful heart. I have a spirit of compassion. I know who my father is. I know what God promised me. I know I'm an heir to his kingdom, an heir to the throne. I know I have a seat at the table. Remind yourself these things. And sometimes you have to have enough faith. That's the whole point of faith. Even when you, you don't see it, just the things you hear. And then sometimes you don't hear anything. Sometimes God is silent. But when God goes silent in my life, I, I talk to myself. What is the last thing God told me? What is the last thing God did? When is the last time God showed up on my behalf? Believe it or not, guess what? He shows up every day. May not be in a way we want him to, but the fact that you're, you have breath in your body, God showed up. God spared your life. And sometimes we have to talk ourselves, say it enough until you believe it, even if you don't feel it. You know, um, there are times, again, my days just feel like it's going to be funky. Uh-uh, devil, you are not about to have my mind. Devil, loose my mind. Flee from my head right now in the name of Jesus. And just by doing that, I feel better. I start feeling funky. Lord, take these thoughts away from me. Let your thoughts become my thoughts. Take away these burdens. Break this, break this off of me, Father God. You know, and when I have those talks and just say my day is going to be better, I'm going to smile today. I'm going to be happy today. I'm going to have so much peace today. God is going to rock my world and blow my mind today. Yes, I talk to myself. And just by doing that, I encourage myself in such a way I don't allow anyone to steal my peace or my joy because they didn't give it to me. I know who my source is. Make sure you know who your source is. God supplies all of your needs. And we look at that in a tangible way and think our blessings have to be tangible or monetary things. And that's not true. And if you have that mindset, I encourage you, I challenge you to think about the things that God is doing for you that you take advantage of, that you take for granted. And what about the times all day, every day, we don't see the spiritual realm that's going on above our heads. We don't see that we have angels fighting on our behalf and knocking demons out and slaying demons, you know, to keep us safe, to keep us covered, to keep God's hedge of protection around us. And we just, we, we have a, a bad habit of having a sense of entitlement. I too was once there, but I've learned to appreciate life. I've learned even when life isn't good, I still appreciate it. Even when life isn't going the way I want it to go, I still appreciate it because I know it could be worse. I know that someone else is praying to have my life. I know someone else didn't have the advantage of waking up. They didn't have the advantage of complaining the next day. So I'm learning to take nothing for granted and to thank God for everything that he lays before me. Even if it's things that I don't want, I'm learning to thank God for that. And I just want to encourage you to do the same. Be encouraged by encouraging yourself. Remind yourself. Talk to yourself. Write down daily affirmations. Put up sticky notes. Write in a prayer journal if you have to. Listen to a podcast. Read your Bible. Pray. Whatever that is, get yourself to a place where you're so positive and so focused. There's nothing that can distract you. There's nothing that can knock your focus off and get you off your game. God is amazing. He will show up and show out. Even when he's silent, he's still there. He's still watching you. He's still covering you. He's still protecting you. He's still making a way for you. God is so amazing. Y'all having a positive day on purpose. Be encouraged on purpose. Be blessed on purpose. Be happy on purpose. Be positive on purpose. Do everything with intentions and be great on purpose today. Y'all be blessed. Stay prayed up. Know that God is going to show up and show out on your behalf when the time is right, when his time is right, because he's never a minute too late or a second too early. Even delayed does not mean denied. You all stay encouraged. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share this and I'll chat with you guys next time. Bye.